Thank you. I've, I've been asked to limit my uh, uh, to uh, to one minute. So okay. Um, I can't I can't remember exactly when we first met. It must have been around about 2004, 2005. I think uh, Phyllis had originally asked me to write a blurb for one of her books, and I was incredibly impressed because it was one of the few, I think the only book that I had read by a Western feminist which dared to uh, take to task uh, our fellow feminists for not defending the rights of Muslim women in Islamic countries. It was considered uh, uh, politically incorrect to do that. But Phyllis had the courage to, to, to uh, to speak out, she was being consistent, unlike many of her feminist friends. Anyway, um, you were generous with your time and looked after me when I first moved to New York City. Later, you always reviewed my books, interviewed me, and also wrote pithy blurbs for, for some of them. You graciously invited me to share the stage at the 92nd Y, when it was really your show and you always sought ways to include me in your activities and encourage me in so many different ways. Your moral and intellectual support has kept me going all these years, and you cannot imagine how much such solidarity has meant to me. Then there is all your scholarly work, which has also inspired me with its rigor and dedication, aspiring to the truth, objective truth, a concept much de despised in these modern postmodern times. You put up with ostracism and calumny from former colleagues and friends because you refuse to compromise with the relativist, and you must surely be the first feminist who spoke about the plight of women living in Islamic societies. Bravo, my dear Phyllis, you deserve a rest, but I know that you will never down arms as long as there is injustice and inequality. Congratulations on your birthday. We all look forward to seeing you back in the fray. With much love.